What's up? This is Liam from Cancer Brats. We're at Gods of Metal. In a golf cart. Because that's yeah. how I roll. Chilling. Are you having fun? I am. Today rules. We played uh, a really early set for breakfast. Yeah. And uh, now we're just hanging out. I just had lunch with my new friend. Did you actually enjoy doing two shows in like a half hour in total? Yeah, I kind of, I thought it would be really rough, but uh, it ended up being a lot easier than I thought. And there was lots of people who were hanging out, having fun, the sun was shining. So it ended up being really cool. Is it difficult to promote the new album by playing like 15 minutes <laughs> at 10 in the morning? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of like you make do with what you got. Like we're, you know, just gonna go out and have fun. You know, it's better to just do that than to complain. Like, I mean, it would be way better if we were playing later on in the festival or whatever, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta play with the hand you got dealt, yeah. you know? Do you feel like a god of metal now, after? Oh, I feel after. like a, a bronze god of metal. I'm definitely a god of metal. I'm the only one that played two sets. Mm -hmm. Well, someone told me, like someone, you, you would have enjoyed having a look at Man of War. How does yeah. that sit with your fan base? I really wish we could have played Man of War Day because we're all really big Man of War fans. It would have been awesome, but whatever. Hopefully we'll see them. Um, someone told me that they were very awesome last night. <laughs> A very close friend told me that, so it was. It would have been cool, but it's nice to know that they were still killing it. Well, would you rather have a, a slot in a festival like this or playing your own headline show? Um, I like doing both, really, because I mean, there's people that saw us today that would never know about one of our headlining shows. Maybe they don't go to hardcore shows. Maybe they don't go to smaller shows. So it's definitely like cool to be able to play to some new people mm -hmm. and you know tell them about cancer bats and stuff like that but at the same time like I love playing like a small show so hopefully next time we play those people will come you know and that happens yeah. it's like oh I saw you guys at Gods of Metal it was awesome and now I get to see you in this small bar it's so cool so you're like you know seeing both is cool someone is trying to steal someone's trying to steal a golf cart yeah. from there <laughs> um, oh well uh, I have two questions of how you ended up first getting such cool guests on the on the latest Cancer Bats album. You know, Busters is really great with the singing and yeah, yeah, yeah. And such. Um, for us, like I mean, guest vocals is always about homies. Like it's just about friends that have been involved in the band and people that we've wanted to have. Like I mean, we met Dez from touring with Double Driver, and that made such a, a big impact on us. Like meeting him, like a dude who's still, you know, he's a lot older. He's been doing like this kind of thing for a, a while. Yeah. So to see a guy who's still so passionate about it and he learns about new bands still. I mean, that's how he just found out about Cancer Bats because he's like, you know, keeps his eye on the scene and he really liked us so he just like reached out and asked if we wanted to tour so it's definitely cool to like know that there's dudes like that still out there and it's very inspiring for us as like younger guys yeah. you know so yeah we've always kind of done it that way same with like Tim from Rise Against or like guys from Alexis on Fire like it's always just about getting our friends to come and shout yeah, and how did you end up with a British guy for a side project of yours then? Oh, with uh, with Axe Wounds. Yeah. Um, I got asked by Matt Tuck from Bullet. He did ask. Yeah, you. he okay. asked me once he had finished writing the record. He uh, he was like, "Oh, we need a singer," because he didn't want to sing in it. So he thought to ask me, and I was like, "Yeah, that'd be cool." So just flew over and uh, we started a band together. Oh, so you did do the record all together? No, you, yeah, you didn't I, send in the... I came, to, I came to Wales to record with him. Because mm -hmm. um, then we could both write together. I mean, because then he would have his input. He could help me kind of like produce the vocals a bit, like in terms of what he was thinking. So I flew there, we recorded the vocals in five days and hopefully the record's going to come out in the fall. Mm -hmm. And Well, actually, you, you said that uh, the new Cancer Bats is having you singing in a bit of a different way from the past because you wanted to change something in your singing. Yeah. And then you find yourself in Axound, which is still more growling, yeah, more yeah, screaming yeah. and yeah, such. Yeah, changing even more. I mean, I really try to push myself every time we do a record and just to make it sound different, you know, from anything that we've done before. So with that, it was like a cool chance to even try things, you know, different than what I do in Cancer Bats. Mm -hmm. but. 
it's yeah, it's fun to mix it up, especially to like kind of see what you can do, like what mm -hmm. the potential yeah. of your voice is. So well, it's fun. We did see it on stage. You you, you went from one outfit and one voice yeah, to the yeah. other yeah, in a like, matter I... of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so well, uh, last final wise words, hopefully for Italian fans. Um, stoked! Everybody's been showing us tons of love in Italy. Definitely means the world. Cancer Bats, new record, Dead Set on Living. Uh, Axe Wound, people are finding out about, coming and checking us out. So yeah, stoked. We'll see, see you guys with both bands in 2013.